All right, here we are. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a couple things first. Okay. All right. Who are you? Antonio. I knew that. Yeah. All right. And we got other things to talk about, so I'll, I'll just yeah. very easy question. Uh, what's the vigil? The vigil is in solidarity with people who are homeless in the state of Oregon because we believe that everyone should have the right to sleep outside with a structure of any kind to protect themselves from the elements. However, the business community doesn't like it because it affects their business profits because people don't like broke people around. They don't, they don't feel comfortable buying stuff, I guess. So, yeah, we just we just hope that people in City Hall will just just change your mind about how they help homeless people. In fact, it'll save the city a lot of money if they lift the camping ban tonight, pretty soon. Right, because they wouldn't have to enforce. Yeah, they won't have to enforce. Weirdness. Yeah, and people have the have the uh, have the dignity to choose how they live. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, and if they even were a bad person or a good person, it's none of our business. It's what we do as society. Let people do what they want as long as they're not doing something to others. Right. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. So, so thank you about that. And now we've got some information for you to impart to us because I was at home and some some video of live stream was on and it said where's Antonio that was a title where's Antonio really? it was like I, I go wait a minute is this Wall Street what I thought we were over at Chicago what's going on what? and then somebody says no he's running up to Philadelphia or something I don't know Whoa, where, where did you go where did you go? What okay. happened to you? Um, <laughs> I'm going to get my coffee while you tell the viewers and I'll still hear. Okay, well, uh, on the 18th, I woke up. I knew the bus was leaving to Chicago. But, uh, you know, I think for about a week and a half, maybe two weeks, I was not I was not feeling about going to Chicago. I was for a month before that until I got really interested in, like, how to grow our gardens in the north side of Portland but that takes a long time and I already know enough just enough to start gardening I don't know the, the entirety of gardening I'm not an expert but the day I woke up I just got my clothes on typically just to do a few errands and the bus was leaving and uh, someone said you're gonna go and I was like nope someone else said you're gonna go you should go this ain't like you and I was like nah Maybe next time. And it was just running through my head how exciting it would be in Chicago because I'd never been uh, past New Mexico. And uh, someone said the third time, you got to go, Antonio. There's one last seat. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. i got to get all that uh, bus. <laughs> so I went across the state with only one pair of clothes, two books in my backpack, and nothing else. And uh, Chicago was a really enlightening experience in which how we are policed every day. And if, We're going to get interrupted, and if, uh, I have a feeling, and I'm going to film yeah. it. And if you believe that voting can stop policing, then you should probably continue voting if you believe that I can't stop it. Okay. Uh, let's try, try yeah. backing up. Yeah. I could be I can't on the argue with that, I could really. be I could be on the steps. Oh, it's so dark. Um let's try underneath this uh, see if we can get some light over here. Who's in there? Who's in this messy office? I can stand right there, right? Yeah. Okay. Right on. Okay, let's see. Why don't you try sitting up there and see what they say then? Alright. I'm such a rebel. It's criminal activity. Hold on. Terrible people. I know. Occu those filthy occupiers. All right. Um, so yeah, if you, just... if you, I, I'm, I'm not a really big advocate for voting. Um, You're not an advocate for voting? I don't. I, I'm anti-voter. What? And I do have the right to, talk, to speak because that's the human right, not because I'm not voting. Okay. So um, anyway, I'm not going to go into that because it's kind of philosophical and semi-political, and people hate that shit because no one wants to talk about uh, it. Occupiers hate political. No, what? Some of the people do. Anyway, well, uh, hell with them. So there are probably uh, I mean, ten thousand police of all government sectors of force 
there were uh, cops on rooftops, cops in helicopters, cops in boats, cops on bikes, cops in city buses, cops in subways. Uh, oh my God, I yeah. still want to do green eggs and ham. Uh, and there were cops in cop cars of all kinds, cops bacon. on horses. There were, there were secret police. Cop, uh, you were, Would you I, like them on the bus? Would you like them, yeah, their exactly. name Gus? And there Would were probably like cops. In a helicopter. There were probably, I think there were black, there were cops like you would like look at a black car and there were like just rows of black cars just going by. And the city was using dump trucks to block off the NATO summit. I mean, they're really, really watching that place, protecting, I don't even know what the fuck they're trying to protect. And that's why I don't believe in voting because I, sh I should vote for that, you know. Um, yeah, we're, we're spending taxes on that kind of stuff. Yeah, and there, 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 the, the National Guard was there, the FBI was there. There even were police from other states that showed up to help out. Well, we had that here. Yeah. Well, wait, not other states, other cities. Yeah. So there were out-of-state police. Yeah, New York showed up, uh, Atlanta showed up, other other states showed up to help out for this kind of thing. Uh, they, they, they attempt to use uh, yeah, tear gas, but they didn't do it. They even use a, 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 a what they call a peaceful war weapon, which is an L rad. They gun. did. Yeah, they attempt to use it on us. Uh, Are you talking about the sound cannon? Yeah, they used it. They were. They, they were, used it. They were going to. They okay, because this is what I, I predicted would be kind of the shot heard around the world is when we have weapons like that used yeah. on a crowd just for assembly. We're gonna have. Uh, maybe a wake-up call, but I, I, I don't know how the sheep are ever gonna wake up. I, I don't know. Well, they don't have to wake up the sheep. We're awake, so let's do it ourselves. And maybe when they wake up, we're ready. For but them. I would think that once they start using sound cannons on human beings and blowing out eardrums, you well, know, of little way. babies, I would think that people would be in an uproar. But I'm not sure. No, I mean uh, the because general... you know filthy occupiers probably right. deserve to. The general pattern of society when it's near collapse people are begging or asking their authority figures to help and you can't really have a movement or a resistant group to keep going at that direction without their own resources because when the when the absolute uh, end comes the government will step in and say they're going to protect you when they're actually using you for their own good well so. we have seen we have seen authority enforce for the sake of enforcing I mean to yeah. keep their power that, that's the only reason that anybody would use the technique of sexual harassment for women you right. know is to keep their power they're obviously not doing it for any other reason so it's pretty disgusting yeah. and disturbing so, did you see any of that by the way did you see any women sexually harassed by police no but you heard about it right I didn't hear about that okay sorry to have that. some of our occupiers experienced that themselves. We've been hearing about that technique coming from the East Coast and sweeping and it, it is Well, uh, anti-authorityism is a principle of anarchy and uh, I think it's a good thing. But anyway, uh, enough of that stuff. Okay. Anarchy is bad. But, uh, you know, I, I went to New York and explored the city and Occupy Wall Street. How did you get to New York? I thought that the, the bus went to Chicago. Did it continue on? Or? Well, there's there's an organization. I think it's, I forgot, it's the church. It's the Nurses Union or something. Yeah. And they paid for all that stuff. And people from other occupies wanted to go to different towns and cities, and we swapped seats. One of them is here who I swapped with. And, uh, so I took his spot and I went to New York and it was the first time being in New York ever. In fact, I've never been across state uh, like New that. New York City's amazing. It's not. I had a really good experience yeah. in New York City, but that was 2002. Well, uh, if you see grass, you probably, if you step on it, you're going to go to jail. And there is hardly any grass in the city. It's all protected by gates. Uh, if you ask for money, for food, uh, you, you get looked at weird, but if you ask for drug money, people give it to you. Uh, Occupy Wall Street doesn't have GAs, it doesn't have a spokes council, it doesn't have a Jenna SETI meeting. It lost, it, it lost a million dollars, millions of dollars. Uh, it doesn't have a sense of community, and if you were, if you were, went there and you think you're going to find it, um, I hope you do. But I wouldn't so was, Wall Street's hurting. Occupy Wall Street's hurting, you think? It's, it's been hurting. Yeah. We're it. The yeah. West Coast is liberated the movement, and I hope continuously that we stay together, at least in community, maybe not 
protesting every day if it if we don't have to i think that community and building a sense of commune in our cities is the best step toward out of this problem yeah. i'm with you on that yeah so i mean i i know a lot of people don't uh don't feel like uh, community is the, the protest, but but uh, community, community is, is how we came together 24/7 to say, hey, I'm here to do something, and we we have to continue yeah. to have people able to get together and say, I, I don't accept the status quo. This is uh, we could do better, and we right. expect our leaders to do better and represent us, and yeah. et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, community to me is what we need and I'm I'm really happy the, to have an occupation and however small every night is growing. I think community is the best protest there is because uh, nobody is actually liberated in any nation and all nations are dependent on some corporate institution and that's where all the problems are coming from. Have you ever noticed that everything free is becoming illegal? Yeah, especially water. Yeah. And you know what? I read somewhere in this book it said uh, 93% of uh, surface water in, in the United States is polluted. And, you know, the bottle companies is, loves that idea because you can make profit. That's what capitalism does. And, uh, you know, in the long run, uh, that, that's going to lead to the next step is air. And, yeah. Yeah. It's Where really, air is not free. Yeah, you can go in aisle five and get your air tank for, you know, however, and get paid for insurance. Yeah, yeah. It, it is uh, pretty futuristic to, to think about that, but that's... You know, I think of Free Jack, the horrible movie with Mick Jagger and, and Emilio Estevez. I think the best step is where they the, block out the sun and don't tell anybody that that their uh, need for whatever it was is long over. That you know, right. and they still continue to use the solar power and exclusive. Well, it's getting. Kind of, I know it sounds backwards, but what I, what, I, what I will say is that they already they're already making money off the sun. So why would they make money off the air? Right. You know. yeah. Why aren't the people in the Sahara totally getting solar power uh, as a as a national export? I mean, I, I don't know. I read that in some sci-fi book, yeah. and I was like, "Oh, that, that'd be nice, wouldn't it?" Why isn't this Africa could be like one of the richest continents? Yeah, because they provide all the energy. Well, why isn't this country making hemp for gas? It could declare its independence by its own natural, by, by producing a, a, a natural resource. Yeah, well, we have enough land, fertile land, that if we actually used, uh, you know, if we actually used a positive farming yeah. uh, method, we could feed, uh, we, we would be so rich but so, it's as so, a nation. But these, uh, these, these, these uh, to them it's dreams, but to us it's real, because we have to do it. But to them, uh, it's, it's so bad that the, the state of society where it is, they'll call us communists. Right. Well, yeah. it is it, it is upsetting. To, I, I would like to see all the televisions turned off. I think mainstream media is doing us a terrible disservice. And it would be really nice if, uh, if they just went away. Yeah. I don't need mainstream media. You know, on the bus ride back, I was wondering how can we build a better conscience? And. Uh, I was thinking about all the bad things I did in my life, the most terrible things I could have done or did. And I, I, I just thought, well, maybe from now on I would question why I did those things. And when I find an answer, I would wonder why I got that answer. And, every, and that goes for everything, to make a stronger mind. And if we, if we could do that at least as a, a movement, maybe we have a chance in our own communities you know, but the reason people just watch TV uh, just in a blind way is because they don't want to. They don't want. They don't want. They don't want to find their own answers. Hmm. They always want more, and they and, and, and if, Or they don't trust their own mind. Yeah, and they always want more of what they're being told. And right. if they ever understood that uh, just having enough is better than getting more, they would be happier. But they would never find that out because they just want anything that. Just, just, just throws out the idea of just answering themselves. Right. Yeah. Well, I know that uh, people watch the television channel that tells them what they know is right already. Right. And they, the same network uh, is owned. You'll have multiple networks by one person, one company, yeah. or, or mo I should not say networks, multiple uh, media, yeah. and and they will have a custom 
world view for each of the three types of viewers or or what not so that they can always tell you what you want to hear which is that you already know the answer and it's this way even the simple answers really the people talking on television the 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 news hosts or whatever they call themselves they're even polluted by talking about it so they're constantly hearing it but they're not questioning it Mm. so they're trapped in it just as much as the viewer what what was uh speaking of like seeing things firsthand what was did you see anything that just shocked you in chicago I mean, you, you told me about the sheer number of police. That would have been unnerving in itself. But did yeah, you see would... anything that just like boggled your mind? Yeah, radical Nan. What's yeah, Nan? <laughs> yeah, she's also she's okay. A, she's a rock star. Tell us about what you saw with Nan. Yeah, uh, she's probably 86 years old, right? Yeah, I don't know. She's she's really awesome for her age. She's just kicking ass. You know? 86 years and two months. About no, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for real. I mean. That lady just wants us to, to get pumped up, and she's she's already pumped up. She's amazing. Well, she led us back to Shemansky when we all gave up. <laughs> yeah, she did. She just stood there and stood her ground, and we're like, wait, we're back? We're occupying? Is she's that... like, yeah, you stay here, right? Yeah, it's She's like, amazing? I'm going to hold this place. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. Okay, so, and, and she comes by, and she gives love to the vigil, too. She, yeah. she, she thanks you for what you're doing. And uh, we, we certainly thank her. So, what did you see Nan do in Chicago? Uh, she got she got right in front of the cops and just like, I'm staying here. She what? She did. People were pulling back. This is what I heard from a lot of people. Okay, so you didn't see Nan didn't do see this? Okay. I didn't see her, but I trust these people and what okay. they say. So and what if, did they say? And if I went to talk talk to Nan about it, she'd be like, Yeah. Oh, wouldn't that be great? Yeah. I would love to see her right now. Yeah. Um, she's come by, but I'm here too late, I think. So, okay. Um, so Nan was in the front lines with other people, and everyone was like, we should get back. Nan was like, I'm staying right here. <laughs> and you know what? She went to jail for it. She was so proud. Yeah, she was so proud. And that's a, she's never been to jail before, as far as I know. I don't know. But she's, well, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, but I, I, I heard think, that. Of course, I think, it, I think that's more important to witness than... How many times got people got hurt? I mean, I mean, it's terrible that we should overlook people who got hurt. But I'm not talking about that. I'm saying, I'm just saying that's an old lady. You know, like that's badass. And yeah, she she had her walker taken. Yeah. She had her journals taken. Oh. And uh, I'm really sorry about that. You know, but yeah. I guess uh, folks here got her a new walker. Yeah. But we can't replace those journals. Mm-hmm. And uh, how 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 you can arrest somebody? For something, first of all, that's illegal to arrest somebody for. I mean, it, it, she had a right. Yeah. But but to. Uh, um, they're upside down over by the coffee. You can stack it. Thank you so much, Reggie. Um, so yeah, I mean, that the, they take your property and they don't they don't care. They come up with a story. Oh, go go over here. No, go over there. Go over here. No, go over there. And you know, and that's you'll never see it. So you know what's it's really. really yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, the, a, a really interesting thing about the NATO summit, the most awesome thing besides Radical Nan, she's awesome, you know. Uh, just before the police start, b- b- right before the police told us to leave and vacate the area, there was a thunder sound across the sky. Boom! Just went across the sky. And then, could you please vacate the area? The thunders and the sky spoke. It was really awesome. And the same day, that that following day, that the same day as it was happening, there was a solar eclipse. Oh, that was solar eclipse day. Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah. So you saw it? I didn't even see it was too cloudy, mm-hmm. but it was. Yeah. But that was really cool. There was a thunder right before they told us to get the hell out of the way, and you know it was a solar eclipse too. It was an wow. epic day. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Big uh, stuff. I, I don't know. I, the, there was really bad things. I saw people get hurt. That that really kind of disturbed me. I didn't want to get too much into it because I gotta, you know, I gotta keep myself a little stoic about everything that's in chaos right now. Cause everything is in chaos. But yeah, I saw people, their 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 skulls just bleeding a little bit. Uh, their face just covered in blood. 
And how did that happen to them? The police uh, start whacking everybody with their Right, so, so their method is not to push, but rather to just club straight down on people. No, the method is everything that hurts somebody, get them out of the way. It doesn't matter if it's pushing or hitting, they don't care. But, uh, yeah. Well, uh, I saw someone's leg, it was broken. The person was walking like this, you know. People, there were probably at least anywhere between 60 and 100 people damaged by police brutality. No and, and what was the police, what was the reason that they had in their... They, they said that our permit is over to march in which that means to them we're violating traffic laws traffic laws and you get beat down yeah so yeah we should vote for that we should we should vote not well, you to can hurt. you yeah. can go to you can go to jail for uh, not having your fare and try met for 30 days so i mean this is you talk yeah. about the police state this is crazy yeah but anyway um okay well I'm going to go over and have some more coffee and see what, if anyone else wants some. And yeah. Maybe try to sell my little knickknacks for donations. I'm I'm taking donations for the for the Ustream but also for blankets and yeah. candles and stuff I buy. You should put a cover here when it rains. That'd be cool. I do have one. Yeah. I left it at home. Yeah. But Ernie had a had a little thing that he built for me. Yeah, uh, it's it's pretty sweet. All right, thanks, Antonio. Well, yeah, I just want to say that you know I'm also uh, in in October. I'm leaving the country. What? Yeah. How long? I don't know. I'm going to Mexico, Central America, and uh, South America. What I'm doing there, I'm going to I'm going to go on foot for personal research on the subjects as follows. What is sustainability, resistance, uh, cooperation, and poverty from indigenous people in, in, in poor countries? And I will have a podcast recording all these things I'm trying to document as best as I can. And what I'm hoping what will happen is that I will probably, I'm hoping that I can be a more value, a value or use to people in the movement. And uh, as, I'm, as I'm doing all these things, I hope you guys listen which probably could help you guys because there's been people who've been involved in resistance against what we're trying to fight for and it was just human rights and living freely as much as possible and we have a lot to learn from indigenous people than we think and uh, they don't use technology more or less they use a different type of technology which is more neolithic i think we have a lot to learn from them so I think uh, I think it could help, and uh, I'm going there just for a personal uh, change too. You know, um, yeah. I'm finding family. Oh, I'm also learning that my last name has a lot of political history to it. Oh yeah. Yeah, like like revolutionary type stuff. Really? So, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> if anybody's curious, look it up some more. As yeah. We, some more. Yeah, we're pretty fucking crazy people. Is that with an S on the end or? No? Z Z A M O R A. Yeah. Yeah. I found out that one of my uh, relatives was the. Uh, a president of Cuba for a couple of years, and he was reelected because people liked him. And, and some some of my family members were explorers, and yeah. It was pretty Neat. Yeah. I will. I will look up your last name. Yeah, it's That's... pretty fucking crazy stuff. So I'm gonna go find out what that is, and really, I'm just trying to figure out how I can be more of a use with experiences that connect to resistance and sustainability and all those other things. You know. By the way, there was a uh, a town that had a horrible plastic problem. They had. Little yeah. plastic bags and plastic uh, plastic uh, bottles and all this stuff and they took uh, they took these things put them in chicken wire they they took uh, bottles plastic bottles stuffed them with plastic bags and used some stucco or something like that to fill it in a little bit with the chicken wire and so they made schools out of right. the garbage and it was, it was yeah. very nice and I, I remember you were uh, working on Earthship yeah. stuff, and if I know. If anybody wants that, I would totally build one. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I'm hoping what will happen when I go down to these countries. I'll, you know, get to know people, of course, not tell them that this is what you should be doing. I'm just gonna be like, I, you know, I have a lot to learn from you guys, and I, I'm desperate to learn because that's it's my culture, and, uh, and, and you know, I'll share ideas like the Earthship if they want to do that. I'll probably stay forever. Yeah. Well, as yeah. long as you're podcasting, but if you're not, yeah. I'm gonna hunt you down. And if anybody wants to look up the podcast, I'll have it up in a few days. Uh, it's I call it Occupy Resistance in the Ancient World. Yeah. That's 
us a long name. Yeah, it's a long conversation. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Well, thanks, Antonio. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. We'll be back in a minute.